Hello Scorpios, uh, this is Soul, Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be your general focus reading for the week of January 11th through the 17th, 2016. Before I begin your reading, Scorpions, uh, I do want to wish you all a very happy new year. All right, so let's get right into the energy that I'm sensing uh, for you for the upcoming week the overall energy that I have for you scorpion uh, Scorpios, I'm sorry is uh, we have the queen of swords in the upright position So what I'm sensing for some of you and uh, please keep in mind. This is just a general reading uh, will reply to some of you, but not all of you um, The queen showing up and this is for male and female energies uh, There's a lot of determination for some of the Scorpios that I'm reading for and because this is a general reading, you have to apply it to whatever it is that's going on in your life at this current moment. Whether that determination is based on a relationship, uh, it could also be something going on in the family uh, situation, work environment, or with friends. I do see that there is some uh, air sign qualities attached to uh, some of the Scorpio's uh, determination. It's about a decision, a major decision. Uh, and I feel that either the decision that you have to make, you're going to be determined and stand by it, uh, but you're going to be using your logical mind as opposed to your emotional heart, whatever that decision that you have to, uh, well, whatever the decision that is presented to you. Uh, and after that presentation, then there's a lot of determination after the fact. Uh, so it's a very determined week for some of you. And like I said, it can apply to any area of your life that's um, significant to you. Uh, so it is coming in in the upright position. So I do feel some good energy with that. But like I said, you have to apply it to whatever it is that is um, currently surrounding you. Uh, but there is the emphasis of a lot of determination by some of my Scorpios this week. Um, I just feel okay. So in the recent past, Scorpions, uh, we have the Sun, the major arcana, major life event in the reverse. So some of you, uh, recent past for me is yesterday going back to two weeks since it's only a mini read. Some of you have experienced some sort of uh, minimum success and joy. Now this minimum success and joy that I'm um, sensing uh, could have been related to the holidays, and it also could have been related to. Um, Re, you know relationships okay but it didn't come in in the upright so either you're dealing with relationship issues that you know you're not feeling so joyful and happy about uh, but there is some sort of minimum joy and happiness expressed through this sun related to relationships so that's what I'm getting uh, also I'm just getting the message here that's, you know, some of you who may have children, I don't know, there may have been some sort of upsetting stuff going on with a child. I'm just getting that message. I don't even know where it came from, but I'm just getting that message that some of you may have experienced some sort of unhappiness in terms of a child or children. Okay, or a letdown with a child or children. In the middle of the week, we have for you, Scorpio, the the eight of pentacles in the reverse so this eight of pentacles uh, i feel uh for some of you you may experience some sort of um you know imbalance in terms of your i just feel that there's it's related to work for some of you you may have some problems with your co-workers uh, the Pentacles represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, male or female. So you may, some of you may be dealing with that energy in your work environment. But there's something unsettling that's coming in with that Eight of Pentacles uh, in the reverse. Although I do see it's just creating some sort of imbalance. Um, if it's outside of the work environment, it could be attached to some sort of imbalance in terms of the relationship that you may be in. Someone that you're dating or someone that you're currently uh, already involved with. And like I said before, again, I'm just getting that earth sign energy that some of you may be dealing with uh, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, male or female. Uh, but that eight of pentacles in the reverse is more strongly emphasized with something going on and unsettling uh, for some of you during the work atmosphere and environment during the midweek. 
tail end of your reading, the la uh, very last card that I have for you. Oh, we have the nine of swords in the upright position. So this is not a very good card to get. And unfortunately, um, it's at the tail end of your week. So some of you may endure uh, possibly being betrayed and having some sort of conflicts. Uh, it sits next to the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse where I said that some of you may be dealing with some uh, co-workers who are complicated or whatever. And that complication may involve, you know, one or two uh, possibly deceiving you or lying to you. Um, getting air signs again with this, with the Queen of Swords showing up as the overall energy. So it could be, uh, you know, that you're working with... Um, you know, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, male or female. And then also to um, this, all you know, the nine of swords shows up that in terms of a relationship, some of you may endure some sort of deception or betrayal or lie. It's just that there's bringing on a lot of conflict, whatever it is, uh, a lot of stress. And then I see that some of you by the end of the week aren't going to be sleeping pretty well um, from whatever it is that's being presented to you and the conflicting stuff that I see uh, that some of you may endure. So this is your reading Scorpio for the week of January 11th through the 17th. The Oracle E card that I have selected for you is um, just say no. Okay. And these are new cards for me. So I will be reading the text from the book. Uh, in terms of the message. Okay. So just say no means the divine buzz everybody has a different phrasing for it being in the now a connection with all that is living in the moment here's the thing there are no words that can explain it but baby you know you can feel it savor it for all it is worth that's your message to support your reading and i hope that um you know, it resonates with some of you. Um, like I said, they're new cards for me. I'm getting familiar with them. Um, so I just figured I'd use them for your reading or for all the signs readings for this week uh, just to see how it would play out. Uh, but anyway, this ends your reading, Scorpio. And I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. And uh, until the next time, I do want to wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.